Thank you so much for joining us on this week's Good News. I'm sitting down with Helen over at Healing Hands Health Center. Center. Healing Hands Health Center. Okay, let me redo that. <laughs> Healing Hands Health Center. But okay. the Helen at Healing Hands Health Center. Yeah, a lot of H's there. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this week's Good News. I'm sitting down with Helen over at Healing Hands Health Center, uh, and he, and she is here to share all the good that you're providing right now in our community. Uh, but first, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role over at Healing Hands? Yes. So I'm Helen Scott. I'm the Executive Director of Healing Hands Health Center in Bristol, and I've been there 18 years. Oh, wow. And Healing Hands is 24 years old, so there were two directors before me. And I am married. I have two grown sons. Awesome. And um, outside of work, I go to Central Presbyterian Church in Bristol, Virginia. Awesome. And um, my relatives were charter members in 1875. So my oh, wow. relatives have been a part of that church for a very long time. Wow. That's awesome. 1875? Yes. Wow. So you're, you're pretty well rooted there. Yes. I say. <laughs> I am. Right. So I grew up there, went to Tennessee High, left, went to the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. That's awesome. Um, lived in Huntsville, Alabama for a little while, but then um, got married and moved back. Yeah. back home so that's amazing. most of my life i've lived in bristol tennessee yeah that's awesome and you've been wearing you've been at the healing hands health center for the past 18 years um that's right have you been the director for the past 18 years yes i have wow so tell us a little bit about that role that you do okay. there okay so um so i guess overseeing the clinic so healing hands is a charitable health clinic we're a christian ministry oh, that's awesome. and we were founded by um uh, First Presbyterian Church in Bristol. The mission committee of First Presbyterian Church read an article in Parade Magazine about how many more Americans were going without health insurance. And this was probably 26 years ago because okay. the clinic's 24. Um, October 1st will be 24. So um, at the time that they read that, a million more Americans were going without health insurance, and most of them worked. So wow. Healing Hands was founded to help low-income people who work. Many of them work two jobs. Mm -hmm. And without health insurance, it's so hard to afford to support yourself and your whole family. Yeah. So we help people with um, medical care and medication, uh, dental care, um, and we can go into that further, yeah. but um, chiropractic care, eye care, and eyeglasses, oh, wow. and counseling. So it's a really, really great, great place. We help the uninsured of Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia. Wow, that's amazing. So you do a, a lot of stuff there, health, yes. dental, vision, and everything. Yes. Um, that's amazing. That's it's a great place. And I love, I want to point out to you that I love where, okay, so many people want to get involved and do something, but they're like, I don't know what I can do to make a difference. But you all saw the need and were like, you know, I'm going to do something about this. <laughs> yes. And so really, you know, I said First Presbyterian Church founded us. It was their mission committee that yeah. read the article, but really they invited area churches to come together for a meeting okay. and invited friends or people they knew who were doctors and dentists and nurses and lay volunteers. And um, they had 100 people at their first meeting. So wow. they knew that night it was going to be successful. Yeah. And we've grown every year. We've helped um, so many people and everybody we help is, so, they're so grateful. It is, um, we, we started out as a free clinic, mm -hmm. but over time, our annual operating budget is 1.3 million. Wow. So we ask the patients today to pay a small small fee like a copay. Mm -hmm. So it's um, $25 to come see the doctor. You know, and that includes that can include your blood work um, and uh, you know, we can refer on to specialists mm -hmm. and then to see the dentist it's $40. And if whether you need um, six teeth extracted or one tooth extracted, or wow. um, we do fillings, extractions, cleanings, um, uh, dentures, and partials. And so dentures and partials are more, and we have mm -hmm. certain grants, too, that, that help um, uh, come down on the cost of those. But, yeah. Um, and then uh, chiropractic care, eyeglasses, $25. Um, 
and some counseling services. But nine out of ten people who uh, come to us, you have to fill out an application. Ninety mm-hmm. percent of those ask for dental care. Okay. So by far. Um, the need is dental in yeah. Southwest Virginia and Northeast Tennessee. Definitely. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so how are, are the doctors and, and dentists and everyone, do they volunteer their time? So or? it started out as a volunteer clinic with a okay. few staff and um, we had a volunteer medical director. And so today, um, you know, I'd say right before COVID, we had 24 employees and Mm -hmm. over 300 volunteers. And one area that we've really grown is we have um, students come and rotate through our clinics. So we have um, nursing students. We uh, We are partnering with ETSU. For the, some of their residents are coming starting in July. That's awesome. Um, we have uh, University of Tennessee College of Dentistry students who come um, all the way up from Memphis. So they wow. drive four students who are s- seniors, they call them D4s, mm-hmm. come every um, two weeks. They come wow. for two week rotations. And we house them in a two bedroom, two bathroom house where they don't have to pay for it. We pay for the housing. Yeah. And um, so most of the seniors from Memphis come up here. So four come for two weeks, go back, then the next four come just on Mm -hmm. a rotating basis. And so one great thing that we've got going on right now is we are in our second capital campaign. We've raised $2 million plus a lot of um, in-kind donations Mm -hmm. where we are building a much larger student dormitory. And uh, it's exactly across the street from our clinic. So, you know, they'll get up in the morning, have to walk across the street, just a little street, um, uh, and be at work at 8 o'clock. So it it is great for them because the students that come up from Memphis haven't gotten a lot of hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. Uh, They do a lot of um, instruction and classwork, and then they love to come to Bristol because they finally get to really practice and and work on our patients and yeah. you know they're seniors getting ready to graduate so they they are are really good and mm-hmm. the other great thing is university of tennessee pays their um, supervisor to um, a dentist to be on site with us oh okay so the student dormitory it's a uh, about a seven thousand square foot facility um, besides how we'll be able to house 12 students and um, also we'll have a meeting space where we can um, seat up to 60 people and that's where students will Skype their professors and have different meetings. We'll have a wellness teaching kitchen where we will educate especially diabetic patients, Mm -hmm. but other people on cooking and and how to eat right and be healthy. And then we'll have, we have five um, more offices. And um, so it's a great, great thing going on yeah. with our um, new building. But we, it's underway. We've um, gotten um, different things donated, but uh, we've started the grading and hope to be finished um, by the end of the year. That's amazing. I'll hopefully finished the totally whole building. Totally finished. It should be completely wow. finished by the end of, of December. And then the newest group of students will come back um, probably the middle of January. Okay. So we're really looking forward to um, our new building and yeah, for sure. um, having new students come. That's awesome. I love that. I love it because it gives the, the students an opportunity to, you know, to really practice what they've been learning, but also have making sure that there's a supervisor there just, yes. to, be, uh, just to be on the uh, careful side, just to, you know, have that extra. Yes. Um, and then besides, I, I mentioned UT, but also mm-hmm. East Tennessee State University, yeah. they have a fantastic dental hygiene school. Oh, okay. And so, uh, now they have five students that rotate um, through our, our clinic yeah. uh, two to three days a week. And they have been rotating through Healing Hands for 19 years. Oh, wow. So we've been um, educating people on how to take care of their teeth and yeah. cleaning their teeth um, for 19 years. Wow. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> I love yes. that. Um, now, for someone listening right now who you know, maybe wants to get involved or partner with you, what are some ways or some needs um, that you have right now? Okay. So always funding. And I mm-hmm. think probably every nonprofit says that, <laughs> Yeah, you know, 1.3 million is a lot of money to come mm-hmm. up with, uh, you know, a nonprofit in Bristol, yeah. but we do a lot of uh, fundraising and get money from churches and businesses and we do event fundraising and um, send out letters. So mm-hmm. financial support is always number one. Yeah. Um, we have a, a program where 
We um, educate children in the community. We only treat adults on site, but Mm -hmm. we educate children in southwest Virginia and northeast Tennessee, and we're always looking for groups to come assemble dental kits. Okay. And then um, we always could use help with um, weeding and mowing and things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Discovery Church in Bristol has helped us for um, at least eight years. They come four. They come four times a year. Yeah through their sent to serve program on Sunday mornings. And so if somebody has a youth group or a, um, you know, Sunday school class or just a group of friends and you want to want to come help us um, assembling dental kits or working outside or helping Mm -hmm. clean the building or, you know, we could talk about it. But um, if anybody wants to call me, Healing Hands Health Center, um, and I could say the phone number. Yeah, definitely. And I'll, and I'll link it in the video okay. as well. So if you're listening right now and you, and you can't write down the phone number real quick, just come over to our website, wcqr.org, and you can see in the video in the description, we'll, we'll put the link to the phone yeah. number there too. And then our website is easy. I mean, it's long, but it's easy. <laughs> it's healinghandshealthcenter.org. Okay, awesome. So we got a great website. Definitely. And I'll put a link to that as well. <laughs> and then if anybody is a dental hygienist or okay. a dental assistant or a nurse or an LPN, or however, you know, if mm-hmm. you have a uh, medical or dental uh, background and want to want to come over and help us, we're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, closed noon to 1. And so we welcome volunteers. Um, if you want to come help answer the phone or, you know, just about anything yeah. about running an office yeah. would be helpful too. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a link to everything. So if you want to send me all the information, I'll make okay. sure to link it in there. Okay. Um, now I'd love to. You've been here for you said eighteen years. I would love to hear a couple stories. You don't okay. have to get into go into details okay. of of where you've seen Healing Hands really just help uh, so many individuals. Just okay. any stories that really pop out to okay. you. Okay. Well, always the very first story that comes to my mind is um, I was brand new. I used to work at Central Presbyterian Church, so I don't have a medical background, mm-hmm. but um, I have a business degree and I've done a lot in fundraising before, and. Um, it was like my first week and I got a phone call from a lady who was crying and she said, we don't have much money. My husband is um, in a lot of dental pain and he has a pair of pliers in his mouth trying to pull out his own tooth. Oh my so since then I have heard, I, I was so shocked back then. I didn't mm-hmm. know people did that, but a lot of people are so desperate and really do try to pull out their own teeth who don't have the money or insurance and, and yeah. all that. So, but then, um, In the last probably three to four years, we started dentures and partials, and we knew we really wanted to go there, but they're, you know, they're Mm -hmm. more expensive. And so we talk to people who say, um, you know, I have low self-esteem because I'm I'm missing my front teeth, or Mm -hmm. I can't eat, I can't sleep, I can't chew. Um, I've I've had people say, my daughter is embarrassed to be seen with me because Mm -hmm. I have teeth that are missing. Um, you know, or I'm in a lot of pain. So it's just a great feeling to be able to help people, one, who are helping themselves by Mm -hmm. working, you know, and and two, it's my hometown, so I really like being back and helping my hometown. And then can you imagine not being able to eat, sleep, you embarrass your children, Mm -hmm. all that. Um, And so um, Healing Hands does a lot of really, really great work. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. I love that you're providing so much good for our community, for Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia as well. Um, Now, with your role specifically, so so you do a lot of the fundraising. um, How is it for your for your day to day? What do you see on a normal daily basis? Like, you know, this is an amazing organization, um, but how many people come through your doors uh, on a normal basis now? Okay, so. Uh, let me say this. Bef- I'm not answering your question, but okay. I came to mind. So, I'm gonna say this. so uh, towards the end of the year, we will have provided um, 100,000 patient visits since we've been opened. I wanted to make sure I got that 100, in there. 100,000? Yes. yes. Wow. So we're really excited about that. And, yeah. And really, every day is different. But um, so within a year, we see almost, we provide almost 7,000 patient visits. Wow. So each day is different because especially 
Um, in the past, we used to help people at night because mm -hmm. we may have dentists or doctors who would work their full-time job and they would say, I'll come at night. We're trying mm -hmm. to do less at night if we can, yeah. but we do a little bit at night. But So um, Monday through Friday, and it's diff different days are different. Every mm -hmm. morning, afternoon is different. But yeah. So if I can sum it up within the year, it's about 7,000 patient 7, visits in a year. 7,000 patients. That's crazy. Yeah. And so it's grown because, yeah. you know, early on we just might see – when we didn't have much dental, we started out more medical and, mm -hmm. you know, maybe four in the morning and four in the afternoon. But yeah. when the students are here, which is not, um, it was really about nine months out of the year because they have Christmas break and yeah. spring break and <laughs> fall break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, it just depends on if ETSU hygiene's there, UT dental students are there, volunteers. We have a lot of volunteers. We have especially volunteer dentists, and we have um, some volunteer specialists in medical. And um, but, but one thing, too, is um, our volunteers and staff are allowed to ask patients, can we pray with you? Oh, that's awesome. And we have never had anybody say no, yeah. which I love that. Definitely. And so that's a big part of it. And then we have a... Um, a um, little church at the uh, where you register for mm -hmm. prayer requests. So we okay. take prayer re requests from our patients, yeah. and then we have a board of directors, and um, we pray for the um, patients that that ask for prayers. That's amazing. I love that. I love yeah. just going that you're going above and beyond. Yes. Um, now, for someone right now that's listening, and they're maybe like, "Hey, you know, we're struggling right now. You know, we have these issues going on mm -hmm. health wise, um, and they want to." Maybe they want to stop by or, or know, you know, make sure they qualify. Mm -hmm. How You said they have an application to fill yeah. out. So HealingHandsHealthCenter.org is the website where you okay. can find the patient application. And because of COVID, we're doing so much more online. Mm -hmm. But if for some reason somebody doesn't have access to a computer, um, they can come to the clinic and we have a box at the front door on the outside of the building. So, like, if somebody needed to come after work, there are applications on the outside of the building. You don't okay. have to even go inside. So, we have them inside. We've got them outside on the website. Um, and uh, if you fill it out online, then uh, we try to get back to people within two days. Okay. And um, you find out right then and there whether you qualify. Mm -hmm. and, and I'd like to say people who... Um, and, and you can Google this, but it's, we help people who are 250% or below the federal poverty guidelines. Okay. So an example of that is a family of four can make um, six, about 64000 Okay. So it's a pretty generous. Yeah. You know, a lot of people think, oh, we, we may help the indigent or mm -hmm. the lowest income. But really, you know, 64000 for a family of four is yeah. a good example. Definitely. And then I do have, um, so a family of two can make 42000 Okay. And it goes up just a little bit every year based on the um, guidelines, federal government mm -hmm. guidelines. Okay. So, you know, if, if um, somebody needs help, give us a call or go online and fill out the patient application. Yeah. We'd love to help more people. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely um, link to that everything on the website. So if you're, you know, want to know if you qualify or not, well, you can come to our website again, wcqr.org, and you can uh, find the link to your website, yes. phone number, and everything to get in contact to either you know partner with you or or uh, you know get assistance if they need that as yes. well. And um, I'd like to say that um, we've had a fantastic relationship with Ballad Health from the very beginning. Yeah, awesome. So you know, Wellmont before uh, Bristol Regional Medical Center has been a very valued partner from the very beginning and we're very very grateful to them that's awesome and we're located at 245 midway medical park in bristol tennessee okay. and a lot of people um, know where kroger is so we're on the same street as kroger and not we could walk to kroger yeah um so okay awesome yeah it's a great place definitely that's amazing um now i'd love to give you an opportunity to i love doing this towards the end of the interview uh to give you an opportunity to kind of share what god has on has placed on your heart this season of life right now mm -hmm. Um, so let's see, I guess, you know, um, praying for all the people that maybe don't know about Healing Hands, mm -hmm. um, whether they need to be a patient of ours or, 
Um, somebody's looking for a place to support, whether yeah. it's financially. We ask. We have prayer warriors, so we just ask for prayers for our patients, our staff, our volunteers, and um, I, I appreciate being able to be here because we yeah. want people to know about us. Definitely, you know. So it's. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate being able to to be here and help spread the word because people don't need to be. Um, at home in pain or trying to go to mm-hmm. work in pain. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people put off going to the dentist, especially, oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. the doctor, too. Yeah. But um, So we try to make it a pleasant experience, and we really want to help people. It's not fun to go to the dentist necessarily, yeah. <laughs> especially if you're in pain, yeah. but it is so worth it. Mm-hmm. So we just pray for all the people that may need us and awesome. want to support us. Yeah, definitely. Well, I appreciate everything that you're doing that you've done for that you've personally done for the past 18 years, uh, but that all the Healing Hands uh, team that's that's just been providing so much good for our community. I mean, I have the easy job. I get to just talk with the amazing people that are doing amazing things, and I, <laughs> that's all I have to do. Mm-hmm. Um, so I really appreciate what you're doing and the sacrifice that it takes to do that. Thank you. And and like I told you, you've got a great radio voice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Definitely.